under the scope. Hey everyone, Adam from the scope. Um, just got back from watching Don John. Uh, it's a movie that comes out on September 27th. Um, saw it about a week early. I didn't see it with Shane or Jared, so I'll be interested to get their takes. I know they got to see it early as well. Um, overall, I really, really liked the movie. Um, the whole style and presentation was really, really great. Um, I'm kind of a Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt fan to begin with. Uh, I don't know what that means. Um, but I do know that we, in our household, refer to him as Juggle. If you look at his acronym, his initials, I guess, uh, you'll kind of get that. Um, the style uh, of the movie, uh, I guess I'm attributing that, that to him. He wrote and directed it and stars in it. Uh, so that's pretty great. Um, everyone in the cast uh, was fantastic. If you've seen the trailer for it, uh, you can probably see uh, just what a great job they did casting. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is weird looking, I guess, uh, because somehow he's able in this movie to look like Tony Danza. You know, like he does look like he's Tony Danza's son. Uh, similar to how in Looper he looked somewhat like a younger version of Bruce Willis. Uh, and if you look at Bruce Willis and Tony Danza, I don't think that you'd see many uh, similarities. So, uh, really like the casting choices. Uh, Scarlett Johansson's weird Brooklyn accent uh, wasn't annoying uh, like it was in the trailer for me for some reason. Uh, kind of was almost more endearing um, <laughs> that she was trying so hard. And uh, overall, just a really fun movie, especially when you consider that, you know, I don't want to spoil anything here, but if you've seen the trailer, I want to say the first 15 minutes of the movie are, you know, predominantly porn related. Uh, so it's, it, it takes kind of a funny uh, take on that, I guess, uh, to make it uh, really about relationships uh, and the, really, I guess, the impact that porn has on those relationships, but not in like a serious way. Um, through a lot of the movie I was uh, thinking about uh, on Reddit, maybe last year or the year before, there was this no fap movement, which, you know, it's Reddit, so it's not like it was like a real thing, but uh, of dudes saying they weren't going to watch porn or anything anymore uh, because it was bad. And um, there's, there's some, you know, I guess scientific evidence that, uh, that that does point to that. But I liked that this movie didn't take that in a super serious bent, but it made it more just about how, uh, you know, relationships evolve and really about, you know, losing yourself in, uh, in those relationships. Uh, just checking my notes here to see if there was anything else that I wanted to, uh, to mention. Um, just... No, I don't. I don't think so. Uh, really, the the style of it is is fantastic. Uh, the the directing style or the the shooting style of it. Um, if you watch it, you kind of see a lot of scenes repeated throughout the movie. Um, and as uh, John uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt's character either devolves, I guess, or evolves throughout the movie, uh, you kind of see those same. Uh, pieces of symbolism and those same scenes change slightly throughout the movie uh, and I, I really picked up on that. And I don't know why. Uh, those are like really interesting things to me. I just, I guess I like repetition a, a whole bunch for whatever that means. So uh, if I were to grade this on the Pitch Perfect scale where five Pitch Perfects is a perfect movie, uh, this would probably get three and a half Pitch Perfects. But if I have to stick to the scope, score, scale, um, I'd probably give this a three and a half out of four. We'll go with that for now. I don't know. Maybe that'll change as, uh, as it goes along. But uh, again, I really like the movie. I'm excited to talk to Shane and Jared uh, to see how they felt about it. Uh, that's Adam. That's Adam? No. Well, we'll help Jared. Everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves once again at the end. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. I know I have. Fear not, Scope Faithful. Days shall pass as if they were but a moment. And Jared, Adam, and Shane will return with another thrilling episode. Until then, send your comments to comments at thescopeshow.com or leave a voicemail message by dialing... 
612-217-2673. Thanks for listening, faithful fans. This is Tony Partington saying, Auf Wiedersehen. Tune in next time to another terrific edition of The Scope.